Have you ever wondered what it's like to travel with haemophilia? Well, let's talk about that. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some of the tips that I typically use when I'm traveling around the world. I've been to Los Angeles, I've been to Berlin, Amsterdam, I've been to Brussels. The first thing that I do is I make sure that I get medical insurance for wherever I'm going. So if I'm going to LA, for example, I'm going to make sure that I have coverage in case anything were to happen while I'm there. Another thing that I would do is head onto the WFH website and check where my nearest haemophilia treatment centre would be. Something I'm sure to take with me is some form of identification that says that I have haemophilia and what my baseline percentage is, just in case if anything were to happen, haematologists or whoever would know what to do. There have been times where I have been stopped by security and usually this is when they're like, why are you carrying this? Or you shouldn't be carrying like a medical waste bin, to which I usually say, as I have used needles, which contain my blood in them. So obviously, you know, you can't just be leaving that in like your ordinary bin. They need to be disposed of properly. All times so far, they've always just been like, okay, cool, that checks out. <laughs> and they just let me go on. When you're traveling by air, you should always keep your medication on hand. There's like chance of it getting lost or because of the temperature difference in like the area below, it could potentially waste the product. Another reason to carry a letter is for customs as well, just in case they're curious as to why you are traveling with this medication, because we all know customs are strict. We want to make sure that we can take our medication with us as we need that. Eventually, once you are abroad and you can enjoy your holiday, amazing, there's nothing like it. But what's really important is actually taking your medication on time still, because we don't want to have a bleed whilst we're not at home. That being said, it's always important to take extra medication just in case anything were to happen on the flight home, for example, say it gets cancelled and you have to spend three more days abroad, there's nothing worse because you might be like, oh my god, I've run out of medication, what do I do now? That's not fun. I've been there. Thankfully, I managed to make my medication last and I was only one day without medication, however, there was no severe ramifications. Thank you so much for joining me this week, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out these videos down below. I made them just for you, so I'll see you there! <laughs>